The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. You know, you have in our shul a remarkable, remarkable person. I have reshuls from him to tell, tell you this story, which I've told a few times in the past. There's a Jew by the name of Michael Levy. We have some of the chavah from shul that know Michael. Michael is a saginar. He's not able to see. He sees a lot. He's a Talmud Chochem, a tremendous Ovid Hashem. Comes to shul every morning with his stick. Rain, snow, comes with his stick to shul. He's Mechai of everybody else. He has a hook in the hallway. It says Michael's, Michael's place for his jacket, for his coat, his things. And he has his place in shul. He's an inspiration to, to all of us in Eish Kardash. So when Michael's mother passed away, when she died, so I was at the Levaya, it was in New Jersey, I think a place called Bradley Beach, there's such a Markham, as I recall. And by the Levaya, Michael said over a story about his mother. Listen, Chever, listen to this. He said that he was raised in a home that was not a religious home. And the other children in the public school, he went to public school. And the other children would take their bikes, or if they lived close enough, they would walk to school. And Michael wanted more than anything to be able to walk to school on his own. Because every single morning, Michael's mother would walk with him to school. She was afraid for him. There was big streets. There was traffic. And Michael Nebuch couldn't see. And the mother would walk with him as a child to school every day. But for him, the rite of passage was to be able to go by himself. And he spent every day memorizing how many steps to this corner, and where is he by this place, and by that place. And he would always ask his mother, Ma, please let me go myself. I want to be able to go myself. I'm growing up, I can do it, Ma. And she said, not yet, Michael, not yet. And she would walk him every morning, and they would go to school together. Finally, he asked one morning, and Michael said to his mother, he said, okay, Michael, today, you're going on your own, but let's review. And he said, over, it's 145 steps to here, and this is the, there's a tree over there, and I stop at the corner, and I ask, I wait for somebody to help me. So they has it over the whole seder of how to go to school. And the mother said, okay, Michael, this is it. God should watch over you. Go. And Michael said he was the proudest person on earth. Michael Levy. Everybody thought he's a nebuch, he can't see. And he's walking to school with his stick. And he's got to memorize 20 steps like this, 50 steps like this. You make it right here. Goes there, someone crosses the street with him. Until finally he gets to the place of the public school. And he goes along and he feels that that's the wall. And when he came to the, towards the opening of the school... So there was a very friendly fellow that was some sort of a guard over there that worked for the public school. And this fellow said to him, well, Michael Levy, look at you. Like, wow, Michael Levy, you're walking to school. Michael Levy, look at you. And then he stopped a second, that fellow, and he said, and Mrs. Levy, how are you? <laughs> and there was a swoosh of a bicycle. Michael said he just heard the sound of a bicycle, whew, and he said, Ma! <laughs> and she disappeared, <laughs> Mrs. Levy. And Michael spoke about how his mother, of course, is every step with him. Have a, all of us, if we ever, ever in our earlier lives entertained the thought they were walking on our own, they were able to walk on our own, 
that we're able to get where we want to go on our own. I think by now, we're all moida that is not so poshit. One of the tzaddikim said that the union of the beard getting gray as we get older is like when there's a war and the side that surrenders holds up a white flag. And maybe that's the union of the kittel by Lel Pesach. That as you get older, every white hair is a reminder that it's not you, it's like a white flag, and says to Ben Shalom, Ben Shalom, I surrender. It's only because of you. Otherwise, if not for Kiyeh Imach, I wouldn't be able to get up, I wouldn't be able to move. I wouldn't be able to move a step without you. And sometimes we think that he's not there, and then you can hear the guard by the public school saying, again, Rabbi Shalom, good morning to you too. As the Rabbi Shalom, the Shechina Kedosh, swooshes by on the bicycle. And good morning to you, Shechina. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire dot org.